the chemetic concept of heaven and hell. The chemetic concept of heaven and hell for the soul. That is the title for this podcast. Now, every human being on this planet has or will at some point hear of his maker and righteousness. Whether you belong to a small clan in a village somewhere, every human being is not ignorant of his maker. Whether you have read the Bible, the Quran, or the Bhagavad Gita, or the Hermetica, whatever. Even if you have never seen a book before, we have all heard of our maker. Because the original man understood who he was and his relationship with the universe. Now, from the ancient teachings of Kemet, the Creator couldn't just send mind into the physical body. Because mind is fire. It is a creative aspect of God. That would have set the earth, which is your body, on fire. Lest we become barbecues. And go up in smoke. Therefore, the soul was created as a vehicle to carry mind into the body now according to how we live on this planet whether we do evil with our free will or use our free will to practice that which is called righteousness will determine what happens to the soul in the afterlife Because we have all asked ourselves a question. Where have we come from? What are we doing here? And where are we going after physical death? So depending on how you have lived your life. And by saying this. If you know you have come from somewhere, it means you already existed before you were born. And what is your purpose here? To find yourself and connect yourself to your maker. Where you are supposed to go is back to your maker. This is the purpose of religion, which simply means to reunite the soul with its source. So when you live on earth and you do evil, or you let evil become the order of the day, You have just bought into the idea of hell or you have just bought your ticket to hell. And hell, according to the Kemites, was not a place you go and you burn forever and ever. But because you have given yourself to evil, you will serve the body for a long period of time which means after each incarnation you take on another body 
And because you have created that which is evil through mind, that which you have created will accompany you back to earth. So you live in torment. And mental torment is one of the most difficult things to deal with. When a person finds himself to be hopeless, useless, screams, my life is worthless. I can't do anything positive. I am mentally disturbed. Everything that comes out of that individual is negative. That individual lives in suffering. They burn. They are tortured every single day. Regardless of if they get a glimpse of happiness for one hour in a day, most of their days on earth is miserable. That is to live in hell because of what you have created in the past. And so, they said, you get so many amount of bodies that you would enter the earth through the process of rebirth over and over again until you submit yourself to higher powers. This is the nation of the teeth. When you are burning, when you are you're, you're on fire, you gnash your teeth because you're suffering. You get a glimpse of this when you read the story of um, Saul and David. Saul gave himself to evil. Did not listen to the word of God. When God said, slaughter all, everything you see when you defeat your enemies. And he kept some for himself. Thus, his mind was tormented. A great deal. He was dethroned from his higher position, which is all of us. So, the righteous, on the other hand, after his physical life, regardless of how many incarnations he's had on earth, because he has been living a progressive life, trying to better his life or himself every incarnation, there comes a time when he lays down a physical body the soul departs with the mind from the physical body. We are not talking about the brain now. Mind is different. Mind is spirit. When the soul and the mind depart from the physical body, mind and the soul will also go their separate ways. Thus, the soul of this righteous individual returns back to the Father and dissolve into the Father and become one. Whereas the one who did evil, he, through the process of rebirth, his evil mind, which will be his karma, does not set him free. That mind is given back to him as he begins to grow up on the earth. So he doesn't find freedom. And so this is a very important lesson for all of us to learn from. Because our activities on the earth is not forgotten. One of the things they said is this. Even though the sun is the greatest of all the gods in heaven, he has been sent below the stars to walk about on himself around the earth to help draw up the souls a 
It reminds me of something that was said in the Bible. The Son of Man came to serve, not to be served. The relationship between Jesus and the Son is obvious. And so each ray of the sun, out of these seven rays, each of them is helping to get rid of our vices. I saw a question on the page where someone was asking, how do we protect ourselves from evil spirits. You have to remember that which is evil has also been created by the same force of the universe, God himself. For man's evolution, or shall we say part of the movie, Because we have free will, those who do good, goodness will follow them. Those who do evil, evil will follow them. But anyone who gives himself truly to his maker is protected. by the angelic forces. So long as you are not lukewarm, as the Bible teaches you, or the Kemetic teachings will tell you, so long as you are one with the source of life, as I just said, the sun fights on your behalf. As they say, there's no such a thing as a halfway crook. You are either a crook or you are not a crook. So long as you are a house of light, you don't have to worry about stuff like that. Because your meditation is basically a time for you and your maker to become one. By sitting in silence and allowing cosmic energy to flow through you. As for the gentleman that was asking about Ezekiel and his vision, I have no idea about Ezekiel's vision. What Ezekiel saw has not been documented anywhere in ancient scriptures. So perhaps we need to get Ezekiel to incarnate back to earth and explain himself. Peace.